Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Roughneck because I wanted to play some PPCs and why not take the Roughneck for it? I mean, it's a solid mech, has a lot of armor, has a lot of structure, so you can take some, some hits and you can trade very well with that, even if you are getting return fire. And therefore, we are taking the Roughneck. Also, as you can see, very, very high hard points. The build looks like the following. Uh, I'm running two regular PPCs here because uh, I believe most of the fights happen in mid-range at about five to six hundred meters anyway or closer therefore um, i'm going for regular ppcs and not extended range ppcs uh, i run a four no five medium lasers as backup so if i'm getting underrun i have 25 damage to defend myself or to amplify the damage but apart from it i just want to play the ppcs here so this is my my main weapon they generate enough heat already and therefore i didn't go for er medium lasers because this would be hilarious then um but anyway um yeah we're running a light engine 300 very straightforward very solid for a 65 tonner makes the mech very fast or relatively fast 75 kph gets you into good positions with that a um, bunch of heat sinks we have a targeting computer mark one as well uh, it's very convenient to have because it gives you better targeting time uh, it uh, gives you a little bit of crit chance with for the ppcs and the lasers and it also gives you range on the lasers and uh, velocity for the ppcs so the targeting computer is actually pretty good and that spare ton is definitely worth it and we have an ams with a ton of ammo here because I had the space so yeah wh why not if you like more cooling you can take out the AMS the targeting computer and the ammo go for another heatsink put it in here for example upgrade the engine to a 305 which is not very efficient because you invest one and a half tons for just a little bit of more speed therefore this is my build. Now you might ask, why do we have uh, the PPCs in one torso and uh, you didn't spread it up? You could put both PPCs in the very high mounts here, but um, this here, the lower, the lower mount, is on cockpit level. Mostly you shoot when you see the enemy, right? You don't ex only expose your mech to this extent and then uh, shoot blindly. And therefore, I'm going for that. And it also makes it so that you have a better conversion. So you can um, reliably peek around a corner with that. You uh, have a tighter spread of the, um, of the weapons and uh, yeah, you can technically use the left side as your shield side and you are still running the PPCs. If you don't want to play the, the risky move of losing the, the, the right side torso, you can spread it up, of course. That's uh, just, just my reasoning behind it. And I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, we have invested a little bit into firepower here. We have the, the heat generation. We've got actually the laser duration uh, and, of course, cooldown here. Um, didn't go for for velocity because I think again 500 meters uh, is is pretty pretty okay to aim. Uh, we are running full, almost full, almost full uh, survivability. I even went for AMS overload. Mm -hmm. AMS overload is pretty nice in that build here. Uh, we skip mobility because we are a peaking mech. We don't really need that mobility. We have um, maximum cool run. We have an additional point of heat management down, he down here or heat containment. I skipped sensors today because I wanted to check out how it plays. Also, again, I am running AMS. Therefore, rated deprivation is not really needed. And we are, of course, running double cool shot because the build is toasty. And that is it, everybody. That is the build. And I wish you a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Grim Plexus and we are playing Conquest. What now, we have a Black Lantern just going crazy um, to Theta. And yeah. uh, I want to go ahead and help him out. I have um, a nice long range build. We can intimidate people by just shooting them. We can, of course, deal damage. But uh, if somebody decides to uh, shoot our Black Lantern from the, from the top of the other side, we're going to push him back, hopefully. So let's see. Oh, actually, actually, there's no top on the other side. There is just this. We are on top of the other side. All right, let's but see. A lot of them do. Most of them do. Where are yeah, they? Where are they? There they are. Look at that. Kapow! That should, yeah, that should make him drive away. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, a build runs relatively cold on this map. This is really good. So we can just poke a lot with our, with our PPC here. Of course, moving targets is uh, kind of tough. But um, yeah. It's, it's almost out of range, almost. But we're dealing damage, and it's free damage. I like free damage. Free stuff is always good, right? Uh, yeah, Stormcrow is gonna get wrecked. And what is that? Oh, it's a bunch of mechs. So let's uh, regroup to the right side here. Turn and face Fox 4. Is he coming up again? No. New target acquired. No, 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 no. 
Okay, we go for the Stormcrow again. He will come out there in a second, I hope. Uh, maybe not because he's getting lermed, so yeah. That Stormcrow. He's super, super alone. I just lie up or shoot him when they come through that path. Okay, let's try to get in. Let's try to get in and fight. I like the high mounts. As you can see, that hitting that Stormcrow was super, super good. Uh, nope. What about this guy? Hi, I have PPCs. You have PPCs as well? Who has the better PPCs? And who is the better shot? Okay. That was nice. Uh, and again, I, I need to get a little close. Shit. <laughs> okay, we found everybody. Uh, let's go for the Stalker here. Well, let's go support our Annihilator. Uh, we have a problem, everybody is here in goal 4. Go for the side also there. Uh, maybe we can get the kill. Oh, I led too, too far. Cool, I survived. But uh, lots of um, our teammates are dead already. What's the Edda doing there? Right, I think the Edda is actually a good target to go up against. Um, that's an MRM Stalker. Because Eddas are squishy, you can take him down fairly easy. Yeah, we're pushing, we're trying to push through from the G4. Side. That was too much, and I wasn't overridden. Blaggle. I get a good punish for that. The ca a catapult? No, wait, where's the catapult? I want to get the catapult. Edda is peeking. It's not good. That's absolutely not good. Okay. We have too many targets here. And again, that adder needs to get wrecked. Here's the Wolvie. How's he doing? How is he doing? It's too, too fine still. So we're gonna focus on this guy. Um, adder Echo. He's very damaged already. Can we kill it? Yeah, I think it's a fairly easy target. Ah, damn it. I should have... I should have... Come on, Annihilator. Hit that. I think we got the side torso there. I think, yeah, we got the side torso. Gotta help you out with the mislings here. Ah. Okay, he is almost lagged. If he decides to engage again, I can kill him. Coming? Yeah, he's coming. Too fast! Too fast for me! Come on, come back here. So he is going to engage, right? We're gonna put up our UAV. I see the smoke. I see you. I see you. He has a UAV himself, I guess. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we have him flanked now. <laughs> he has a UAV himself, otherwise, I don't know. Or maybe um, a seismic sensor. Could have been a seismic. <sighs> He's a one shot. Come on. Just one, one scrape with the lasers, and that's it. We'll just go for the Wolvie. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hello, Blackjack. Oh, that's not good. That is actually not good. Actually, it is good. He's super focused on something else. I'm gonna let him go. Shoot his back. <laughs> he wanted to grab a kill here. Ah, that's cheeky. Now he's underrunning my minimum distance again. Hey. Is he gonna kill me? This Blackjack. Okay, let's go. No? Alright, I think 2 AS all that's left. Good kill. Nice game, Josh. That was that's a how we do it. Game. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy yeah. game! What was it's that, guys? This, uh, I have no words for that. It went, it went down pretty scary, and then, and then I don't know, we, we kind of came back from that. I thought we were behind. I, I think in the early game we had two kills behind, and uh, we came back from that, gladly. Uh, it is a 12-5, uh, but we need to get the caps now. So, let's uh, try. Uh, I'm going to Epsilon, by the way. Maybe someone... Oh, wait, I, and we got it. Well, it's fine, I guess. I get Kappa. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, everybody everybody has I already... I Sigma, but it's way far away. Everybody has a plan already. <laughs> okay, so I'm still alive. I could have turned out uh, pretty badly here because the, the Blackjack had a chance to kill me. But he um, backed up a little bit. And that made it so that I could fire my PPCs to his center torso. And uh, was it a center or the side? I couldn't really see. And then, uh, you know, the minimum distance wasn't uh, an issue anymore. So yeah, let's get Epsilon. Uh, we got Kappa already. We got Gamma in a second. And maybe it's already it. As soon as we got Gamma, there's a chance that we can win already. Let's see. Come on, Gamma. Flip. Yep, that's it. Cool. Good job, guys. 
Cool, cool, cool. That is uh, the first round. Let's have a look at the end score before we go over to the next one. Uh, again, cr crazy fight. Crazy. But yeah, uh, we got two kills, uh, 8 assists, 3k MDDs, 685 damage with 6 components destroyed. Pretty solid, I'd say. And that's the first again, and we're going over to the next one right now. Alright, uh, we are playing the second game. We are playing the Crimson Strait. We are playing Skirmish. We go to the platform, we kill everybody, we win the game. That's the plan. Right, easy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we go, as I said, to the platform here. I can't do that. Because I have the minimum distance. I just want to tickle, tickle his back a little bit. Delta 5, yeah, that's where they're coming from. By the way, they spawn in Delta 4 on the other side. Get out there quickly, because Delta 5 is hot very, very soon. Therefore, um, if you spawn on the other side here, like, like this, this is a spawn as well. Uh, get out there, get to the platform, regroup in Echo 5, because enemies are spawning here and they get to Delta 5 real quick. Therefore, you know, just don't risk anything, because... Why would you? Or, if you would feel really, really lucky and really, really... Target spotted. Hmm, really strong, then you could uh, just ball up and uh, counter push and, you know, just try to get a quick kill. Everybody is uh, retreating now, we have uh, most of the guys on the platform, we have a UAV there, which is down. That is great, that is really good. So, we're gonna wait here for the Hellbringer, we're gonna shoot him. And, is that worth it? Uh, I guess it was worth it. Yeah, we had uh, two PPCs to his torso. I got missile damage, which is okay. It's a little bit spread and uh, some laser washes here, but I think that was definitely worth it. Again, it is just a matter of uh, how you trade hits with your enemies. Um, and if you trade in your favor, you win the game. It's just <laughs> that easy. If you if you hit them more than, than they hit you, you, you win the video game very easy. And therefore, seek, seek trades, uh, especially with a peeking mech that you can take. Try to peek out quickly. New Sorry, very Acquired. Can I back up into that one, dude? Uh, okay. Seek trades that, you know, you, you just get in, get your stuff out, get back. Good trade, right? I'm willing to push ooh, 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 I'm blocked, I'm blocked, I'm blocked. Let's get out of here. Oh, thank you for the AMS, guys. That helps a lot. Do they have a UAV up? Is there. No, that's our UAV, but there's a guy. He's peeking. Let's go for heat vision. That helps uh, spotting him. They have a lot of missiles. Oh, there they are. Okay. I couldn't shoot that, of course. Okay, already, so there we go. I sent an ATM guy. Okay. It might be. And he's in a very good spot for doing his uh, shenanigans there. Uh, let's go for this guy. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was just pushing in front of a friendly laser burst. Um, I don't like playing Sitting Duck here, guys. Also, they have a UAV up in Delta 5. Oh, it's down. Thank you. Mmm, okay. Banshee. Ah, okay. So the Banshee cannot bring the lasers to the point. Not, nah, not, not really. It has some fairly high mounts, but not all of them are. Okay, we got a kill on the saddle. That was great. They had kind of a spotter there. And I wish I could shoot through that here. Okay, they are repositioning. Bring up the UAV. I want to see where they're coming from. Oh, please! Box! Why are you doing this to me, Box? That should teach him some manners. Oh, please. He twisted out of that. Oh, wait. There is a thing called a timber wolf. I want to go for his side also here. Or we go for the center. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Missiles again. It's fine. I'm going to absorb them. It's three and two right now. Oh, still missiles. Oh, there they are. Alright. I hit his head? I don't want to hit his head, man. Alright, 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 alright. It's still looking good, actually. But again, this position here that we are in is not really good for us. Actually, again, quite the opposite. Here comes Mr. Timberwolf. Second coup shot. Nice. Five and four. Yeah, they are trying to do some kind of pushing thing here. The Shadowhawk is getting wrecked, so we try to get an angle on him. Okay, we got that. There goes my torso. No, not quite. This guy's still down there. Oh, that's interesting. Guys, we have an Orion down. It's uh, pretty damaged already. It's an Echo 5. And we have the Mad Cat. Shall we push the Mad Cat? 
Mad Cat in Delta 5, he is completely alone. He is uh, shooting long range stuff. We could probably go all in there. Wanna go? I'm, I'm just behind you, Arippus. Just behind you. Okay, so I'm of course slower now. Um, but we need to team up now. This is it. We need uh, that uh, little fighting ooh, fighting group of two to actually make yeah. something here or get something done. Got that. You got the other one. Come on, dude. Yes, that's how we do it. Thank you very much. That was great. And now we go to low level because uh, the Orion is still alive. Uh, I guess. Or a hunchback. Oh, he is the Orion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem that I have right now is the heat. Uh, can I get another shot to his cockpit? I? No? Line shot? No? No? Okay, I'm gonna die here. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I guess my team got it in the back. That was an interesting game. So very, very slow paced. But we finally got it. And I got a supply cache. Yay. Uh, by the way, guys, a very quick side note. Hold on to your supply cache. Uh, because PGI will refund everything. You will get 50,000 MP, uh, MP, M MC. No, 50,000 C bills for each supply cache that you have. And 25 MC for each key that you have. You get all the stuff back because PGI is reworking their supply cache uh, system. So just wait for it they're gonna be free they're gonna be uh they're gonna have multiple loot probably you don't need to uh, buy keys anymore but just just uh hold on to your supply caches and uh don't open them yeah you will get a lot of refund there anyway we got uh, two killing blows we got uh, 522 damage done we got four components destroyed again pretty slow paced game here but if you look at that uh, everybody did their job that's cool it's always good to see we got that exceptional warhammer with the 761 here but apart from it very focused i like that and that's your daily dose for today everybody that is the roughneck with the ppcs and medium lasers and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you on the battlefield goodbye